Hey guys and welcome to another video from Rad Attack Gaming. Today we are going to be working with RPG Maker MV. I have been working on a game for quite a while now and I came across the part where I really wanted to add some farming and there was some plugins out there that you could use. I think some of them were paid. Uh, Galf has a simple crops plugin that I just, I don't know, I just didn't enjoy it. I didn't like using all the plugin commands and all the stuff that was going on with it. It was just, it was almost too complicated, but yet simple at the same time. I don't know. It, it didn't sit well with me. I figured I'd go my own route anyways and just figure out a way to do it myself without any plugins. And that way I could share it with everybody else so they could figure out how to do it without having to go download any plugins. Unfortunately, I did not accomplish that. <laughs> I did go and get the larger choices plugin due to the fact that I have more than six um, items that I wanted to be able to plant on my farm at a time. If you guys want to plant more than six items, you are going to have to have the largest choices, larger choices plugin. It is plug and play though. You just plug that sucker in and it goes guys. It is awesome. Okay. So let's get into it here. Alrighty. So let's get cracking into this here. So what I'm going to be showing you guys here is how to actually set up everything that you need to set up. Okay. One of the first things that you're going to go do is go into your common event and you're going to be creating a new common event called seed selection. Okay. Just like that has no trigger at all. Nothing at all. Okay. You're going to be setting up your choices. Carrots. Whoop. I did not mean to press that button. We're just going to do carrots and grapes just to try those um cancel is going to be three cancel done okay simple setup simple as it can get um and then what you're going to be doing is you have to create some variables for the plot that you're going to be using okay obviously i'm just going to do plot one for now we're just going to show you how to do plot one all right and then i can kind of talk to you guys how to do other ones later on so when you go in here, you have to set up your variable. So single variable, and then want to make sure that you hit you do to plot one and then the state. Okay, you can put whatever you want really here, but I just choose state because it is tracking the state of the seed and the state of the plant. Okay, the growth. It's not doing anything else. In fact, you don't even need plot one growth anymore because I have it all tracked under one. Okay, so you just need plot one state now. That's it. You put that in there and then this one is actually going to be set to a constant of one because we are setting that seed to one. Okay. And then you're going to go and you're going to want to set up your plot, your plot state or sorry, I'm, I did that wrong. Let's start that over <clears throat> or not start that over. Sorry. I did, I did that right. But the plot state is actually supposed to be your constant. Um, we needed to do set seed, another variable. There's two variables you need to create. I'm sorry. I did not say that. You need to uh, create set seed type as well, okay? Set seed type, that is actually tracking the seed type itself. That seed type is what we're setting to one because it's the first seed, okay? So seed number one, and then control variable, plot one, state equals five. I'll, 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 I'll make sure that I explain why it's five here um, very shortly, but I would just set it as five for now, okay? So then what I do, is I go ahead and change items. All right, we haven't even set the items up. Let's go ahead and set those up. So we need to set up our database. Let's go to items. Um, you need to create yourself your items. You need to create your grapes and your carrot. I just have them set up super simple. Carrot, description, yummy, simple, just uh, pictures, uh, regular item, and they are consumable. Don't worry about setting any effects or anything unless you guys want all that stuff set up yourself. It's nothing that you got to worry about at all. And just copy paste it for grapes and carrots. Just get those completed um, and created. And then you want to make sure that you create your seeds. Okay, so these are under my ingredients list. I got grapes, carrots, watermelon, chili, pumpkin, strawberry, because I've already started quite a few. Okay, so that's under my ingredients. Now I scroll down and I've got my seeds. Okay, I got carrot seeds, grape, watermelon, chili, pumpkin, strawberry, squash, radish as well. These seeds are just set as seed, carrot, Plant these to grow something, simple icon. These are under hidden item B because we are creating our own menu for these, okay? Hidden item menu. And it also hides them in your inventory so you don't have 
you know, hundreds of seeds in your inventory that you gotta scroll through for no reason, okay? I have them set as consumable. You can set them however you guys want. Just do whatever you want. And then copy paste that for however many you want. I choose, I would just start with car carrots and grapes for now, okay guys? So once you get that set, go back. And then you can change your item. And this one, we're gonna do our seed because of course we're gonna plant a seed first. We're gonna use our carrot seed. We're decreasing that carrot seed by one, or the carrot, our seed count by one, okay? And that's all we have to do to set up the control variables and that for this, okay? Copy paste that, set that to here, make that. So of course this seed type for grapes, we're, no, we're this is gonna be seed number two because we don't want it to be the same, this is seed two. Plot one state is gonna equal 10. Now let me try to explain these states here. So what this means is that between plot one state equals five and plot one state equals 10, that means that the carrots have nine frames or transformations, uh, why did I say nine? Four uh, transformation stages that they can do before you hit the grapes, okay? So the grapes are set at 10. So they can do as many as they want because we have nothing set after them, okay? So I'll try to explain that a little further here as we get set up, okay? Let's go ahead, set up our new plot. And um, actually I'm gonna, I can't remember exactly how I had it set up here. I had, uh, yeah, it was the choices with the seeds and the comment, okay, yeah, mm-hmm. Ah, uh, fuck, I clicked it again. So we're actually gonna make this one um, just right here next to it. This one is just uh, new, show choices. And then this one is plant, seed, or cancel, okay? So when you plant your seed, whoop, you are actually gonna be putting in your common event you just created, okay? Your common event is gonna be your seed selection. What you just created to, to say that your seed was one and two, okay? So seed selection, when cancel, show text, you decide not to plant anything, okay? So now that we have that set up, make sure that you have this set up as below character and the action button there, okay? I don't think that there's any variable set up in the beginning. No, I didn't think so. <clears throat> yeah, there's nothing that's calling the variable because a common event is calling everything that you've already set up. So then you're gonna go ahead and do your new page. Um, you're gonna make sure that under conditions, you set your variable. This is what I was talking about with the five through the 10. Make sure that you hit plot one state because we're checking the seed type and the state of the seed all in one right there. We started at five. So make sure that you guys start. This page one for carrots is five. The image we're gonna choose, we're gonna have quite a few transformations for this carrot here. Uh, we are actually going to start with digging the hole. This is going to be below character and parallel. Make sure you set everything to parallel unless it's the harvest stage. Okay, Because we're just digging a hole, we're going to put our weight. So this is just going to tell us that we're waiting for us to plant the seed almost. Dig the hole. And then what you want to do is because you have your variable set to 5, you want to change your variable to 6 for the next page. So this is super simple, guys. Control variable. Go back. Plot one, set constant six, okay? That means that you're gonna go to your next page, okay? So what I would do, copy this event page, paste this event page. That means you already got your variable set up. You just set it to six, set your variable to six, come over here, change your variable from six to constant seven because that'll be the next page. Change your image to seeds, leave it to below character, leave it to parallel, get rid of walking, I don't know why I left that on the other one. Did I leave that on the other one? Yep, I don't, you don't need walking on any of that. So same thing, we've already got a setup, six, seven. You can kind of see how we're going. Copy event page, paste event page. This one's gonna be set seven. This is gonna be changed to an eight because you're going to the next page. We're changing our seeds over to starting to grow below characters, still parallel because it's still growing, okay? Apply, copy, paste, okay? Eight. Nine, changing this to here, below character, 
parallel, okay? Now obviously we're about to go to page 10. Or no, we're actually we're actually going to be perfect. We're actually going to be perfect. We're actually going to page 9. So copy this la this one. We're going to paste one more for the carrots. This one will be the final stage, them grown. So we're only going to do 9. The difference is is on this one, we're going to get rid of the wait screen. I'm going to put show text and you do not have to put this at all. This plant is now harvestable. And now on your control variable, obviously since you're not going to the next page for this, you want to reset your seed count in your grill stage to zero. That resets everything so you can grow another spot or another plant on the same plot, okay? Now this one, same thing below character. The difference is, is you want to be able to trigger this to harvest it. Make sure you click it as action button. If you leave it as parallel, it'll just keep going and going and going through all of your stages past this, okay? Apply. Hit OK, and then make sure that you guys give yourselves your carrots. So carrot, it looks like we're giving ourselves four in the picture, so there's no reason we shouldn't have four carrots. Go in here, hit OK, go in here, test it. We're going to go ahead and just load our game that our, I'm already in this area because I have to get quite a few quests to get over here. Um, so to get our seeds, I go ahead and put some seeds in this chest already. So it gives carrot seeds and all the seeds that I need. Let's go over here, see if we can click plot two, which was the one we just created. We can. It does pop up our common event menu that we created. Plant seed. Obviously, it's calling for... Um, hold on, I need to set it to... It's calling for the wrong one since we created two of them. I got it set to my first seed selection. Sorry, guys. I apologize about that. Um, this is the second seed selection that I created for you guys. Okay. Sorry about that. Go back into testing. That's the one that I created that I have lots of stuff created on that, that I did for my game. So this is what I'm trying to make for scratch for you guys. So you guys understand how to do it for scratch for yourselves. Okay. So back up here, grab seeds back down here, plot two, plant our seed. We should have carrots and grapes on this one because that's what we just created for our seed types. Carrots. Okay. Obviously, these are all growing right now. They won't do that, but because I have everything set to the same seed selection right now, it's, it's going to do that. These are all copy-pasted events right now, so they're all going to grow at the same time, okay? The reason that this is harvesting like this is because these are all set to plat, plot one. This is plot one. This is plot one. This is plot one. You would have to change it to plot two and all of the coding to make it do that, okay? And I'll explain that in just a moment. Now we know that it's working and we can harvest it. Save our game. Make sure that you can still save a game. I always check to make sure I can save my games when I'm doing things, guys. Back out. And we'll continue on with our with our tutorial here. All right, guys. Let's continue on here. So we're back at our screen here. We're back at our plot. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you how I can fix it so they're not all growing at the same time like that because that was kind of lame, wasn't it? So... What we're going to do is we're going to change my plot to plot two state. Clear those out. <clears throat> plot two. Okay. So that's all we're going to do. We're just going to change those all to plot two. So that way we could actually grow this crop on our own without growing the other crop that I've already worked on. Okay. So let me change that. So go into here. All you got to do is you got to go into here and you got to change all these plots over to plot two, which are easy to do because it keeps the selection kind of selected for you. I did a kid's plot two. video. Okay, Zeus, thank you. And then you're just going to continue on um, doing the plot twos all the way through, obviously, because. That, and then this is just showing you that you guys can do as many plots as you want. I mean, as long as you guys can, you guys keep adding all these variables. I mean, you can go plot two through one hundred, you know, and do as many as you guys decide that you want to do. So that way, you guys kind of understand. Okay, so now that is done. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, test it really quick to make sure that everything is still working. We didn't break anything, which I know we probably didn't, unless we forgot one somewhere. Then it'll break it. Planter seed, carrots, which we broke it. We will fix that. I forgot one. What do we do here? 
Alrighty. Plot two. Oh, pff, I didn't change any of these. I did one, but not the other. Silly, silly. So make sure you guys do change in your conditions that there are also plot two. Otherwise, it has no clue what you're talking about. Okay, do another quick test here. We're already standing on the plot, so just click it, plant seed, carrots, they grow. Now we're not growing anything else. We can plant these. See, these are all set, set to plot one, so I can just grow those and they'll all grow on plot one, because those are both plot ones. And this is called plot two now. We just made another plot, so now we're growing our own over here. And then those are growing at the same time around their own plots. So you can kind of see how you can set many, many different plots to do many different things. You can kind of grow as much as you want, do as much as you want. Um, so let's go ahead and get out of here. Continue on, guys. I'm sure you guys want to figure out. Let's say, um, let's say, let's just go ahead and add the grapes here so we can continue on because we've already had, we already went into our common event here, our seed selection, and we've already added the grapes. We technically put it at 10, and you guys know that we just use five through nine for carrots. Okay. So now we're gonna do, we're just gonna change our seed over to the grape seed, decrease it by one, so that way every time we plant one, it automatically takes it out of our inventory. We're also, we also would have to set a variable to check to make sure we have the seed first before all this. Um, we can do that later since we're just doing testing. We don't need to check for the seed to make sure we have it. We can just make it work, okay? Um, make sure that you guys add that uh, seed in there for grape. Make sure that you guys go back to your item database. Make sure that you guys add your actual grapes as an item as well as the seed, okay? Back to the common event. So we have it set as seed type two. This is plot two, number 10, okay? Taking away the grape seed. Go back to your plot two, back to page six. And because we don't really want the harvestable one, I'm gonna go ahead and copy page five here. Go back to six, paste it, okay? The reason I did that is because it's already got this kind of set up. We know that we are on 10. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for 11 on our next page. This is gonna be our grapes. And they've only got a few stages, so there's our grape right here. Now this one has um, wood here, so that's what I'm gonna make it as same as character so you cannot walk over top of it while it's growing. So we're gonna copy this event page, paste this event page, change this over to a 12, change this over to an 11, leave same as character, leave it parallel, change the picture. Um, and then let's go ahead and copy the harvest page for the carrots, paste that, change that photo over to our harvestable grapes. These are still gonna be um, same as character and action button because we wanna harvest them, okay? The last one we set it to is 12, so we wanna make sure we set this to 12. And then we also wanna make sure that we set our state to zero. And then we wanna make sure that we also give ourselves some grapes. So grapes, and then we're gonna go ahead and it looks like there's a lot of grapes on there, so let's just give ourselves 12, okay? And then the reason I have the, like I said, I can set this to below character, so when you harvest it, you can walk over and harvest, but I kinda of like, I don't know. I kind of like it kind of being to the side. Let's go test this one out. But now you can see we're kind of just flying through adding seeds. Once you kind of understand it, you can just fly through adding these things and get it done. We've already got grape seeds. I've already gave myself some. Grapes. There it is. Now it's going to go through the stages of the grapes. Done. I don't know why I showed that picture. I don't even know what that picture was. That was funny. I wonder why it shows that picture. Either way. Um, so you guys can kind of see that that does work. We can still plant our carrots. We can still plant our grapes. And it's all working here. I'll have to figure out what I did with that weird-ass picture there. Um, it didn't do that the last time I set that up, but you never know. I did something weird. Either way, we know those are both working. So let's say that you guys end up coming across my problem where you have more than six plants that you want to have on your farm at the same time. That's where the larger choices plugin is going to come in, guys, and you're going to have to get it downloaded. And then all you do is just put show choices, choose your six, show choices, choose six. Okay? It's actually pretty simple. So let's go back to my seed selection for the bigger one. 
and you can see what I got kind of what I got going on. So you can see I've already used my um, full selection here for carrots, grapes, watermelon, chilies, pumpkin, and strawberry. And then um, on this, I just chose that there was no cancel, so disallow. And then on my next one, I just did another show choices, but because of my plugin, it automatically puts these together into one menu. Squash, radish, all question marks, cancel, and then cancel choice was number six, okay? And then you can see I set seed one, seed two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then all I did was just keep changing the plot states from 10 to 15 to 20 for however many I needed. Um, when I got over here to um, the pumpkin, I added uh, seven stages, and so these are 10 to 20. These are a, a 10 jump from 20, 10, 25 to 35. Holy moly, I could not say that. It is a 10 point jump because we are using seven different changes for this pumpkin. So. That is how you can do multiple, multiple changes instead of just five if you wanted to do. You could do you know, lots and lots of stages for one plan if you decide you want to do lots of stages and lots of waiting even if that's what you decide that you want to do. But you guys kind of understand how you can uh, do this now. The thing was is that I ran into um, is once you get onto your plot, it only allows 20 pages, guys. I understand that is a pain in the neck. You can only get to 20. I got here and was like, I can't create a new page. I can't create a new page. Okay, I guess we're maxed. I guess that's it. I guess we're done with our farm. And that was it. And I was stuck. And I've sat here trying to figure it out and figure it out and figure it out. I decided that if you go and open up your map and you edit, you find your map ID, which is 18. Okay, my map ID is 18. All right. Open up your plot again. Find out that your plot ID is 14. All right. Do this from scratch. Go in here, open up your um, RPG Maker, wherever it's at. Open up your data. Go to map 18, what we just found. Yep. Yeah. And then go back to the top. I'll show you what it looks like at the top. So this is where it starts at the top, guys. You're really confused. You're like, I don't understand a damn thing. What are you talking about? Item 14 or ID 14. So you just keep scrolling down through all this mumbo jumbo, guys. And you see ID1, it highlights everything. I do have Notepad++ as well, guys, so it does highlight the entire ID when I click on it. It is very useful. It will not do that if you have Notepad, Notepad regular that comes with Windows, okay? Um, so I'm looking for ID14, so we know that we can just keep flipping through these. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 is going to be really large because we have already worked on it and added a ton, okay? But you're like... How do I add more than 20 pages? That's awesome. All right, it's actually not hard, guys. You scroll to the bottom of ID 14, which is your plot, all right? You see it right here. You got the X and the Y at the bottom, and then you have walk, anime, false, okay? This is where you're about to add your new page, of your line of code for your new page, okay? Click right here in between these two, not grabbing this one at all, in between. Keep grabbing up 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 until you get to what's called condition make sure that you guys don't grab two of them because then you'll really screw it up but we see condition is right here conditions you got that you got the comma and then conditions control c to copy back down here in between these two comma control v comma control v comma control v comma control v Actually, we're gonna go. We're just gonna do three because we're only. I only add as many pages as I need because if you keep adding more, it does not work. Okay, so we added three pages. So down that, down that. Make sure you exit your editor. No saving right now because that'll save over what you just did. Okay. Make sure you save before you start that. Even make backups of stuff as well, guys. Okay. So like right now we did something wrong and our map was a little messed up. I think I did, um, yeah, see what I did? At the bottom of this one, I added that comma because we were gonna add that, that fourth one and I did not remove the comma. Make sure you do not have a comma at the end, okay? It has to be like that. Don't worry, it'll bring your map right back. I promise that looks scary. It's not scary, look. All the coding is still here, guys. Good to go, okay? <laughs> coding is what runs this game, got it? All right, so we're good. So, now when we go back to our first plot where we were adding a lot of shit, we go here, 
we now realize that we have we should have this stage I have this uh, copy pasted three more times okay so that's the page that I just copied and pasted three times the reason that I copy paste the last one is because that seems to work if you seem to go to the page two copy that I that um, information like you go all the way up here and you copy that one and then you paste it all the way down here at the bottom you're like I got it no scroll to the bottom guys do the work grab the last page copy paste it multiple times okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another new one for you guys so that way you guys can kind of see that I that these pages do in fact work okay so we're gonna change this we're gonna do just um, some cabbage here um, obviously these stopped at 47 so we're gonna do 50 for these um, we need to get rid of that we need to add a wait time of 150 we're just gonna do it quick guys this is plot one this will be a constant of 51 because we want to use the next page we're not giving ourselves items right now because we're using a new page this is gonna be parallel also below character and our variable plot 150 okay so we're just gonna continue on Plot one state, 51. Change this over to 52. Get rid of that. Make sure that you add yourself a weight, otherwise it'll just go quick, lickety split, quick as it could go. Parallel, still below character, good to go. Now we're on our harvestable page. Uh, make sure that you do change your graphic. Change your graphic, okay? Don't forget to change your graphics. And now this is the harvest the harvest page of the graphic here. Obviously, we can continue on doing all sorts of weird stuff if we want to. We don't we don't feel like it. Make sure this one's action buck action button because you're harvesting. Make sure that because you just set this one at 52, you have that set as 52. Make sure it's harvestable. We could have done we could have put cabbage. We're just gonna put uh, the plant. Okay. And then we need to make sure that we add a cabbage. So even though we don't have it here, we know we're adding it under the radish. So we're just going to click 62. We're increasing it because we're giving ourselves one. Okay. We're about to go do all the database work right now. Okay. Go in here. Items. Go down to the bottom where you've got your last one. Copy. Paste. Cabbage. Yummy. Yes. Consumable. Yes. Done. Super easy, guys super super easy okay copy paste cabbage can hit an item b consumable complete apply common events go down here since we're on our big common event i, I do want to show you guys how to do that okay so we're going to go to our last show choice we're adding cabbage okay so we just added cabbage down here to our choices Control it. Uh, we're just copying and pasting all of this. Changing our seed type to nine. This is our ninth plant we're putting here. We started that plot at 50. So now we're going to 50. And then we need to make sure that instead of our cat, uh, radish seed, we're getting a cabbage seed. Apply. Okay. Save. And let's test it. Okay. This is literally the simplest that you can honestly make the system work without any plugins or anything, guys. This is super simple because of the common event. The common event changed everything, guys. Go in here, plant your seed, select the seed, go all the way down. Look, we got our cabbage. Boom. It, obviously, this is a copy paste, but it doesn't have cabbage as the coding because it's old coding. There we go. Cabbage is done. Whoop. Grab that. Plant is harvest. We got a cabbage, guys. Go to our items. Items. Cabbage. All right, guys. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I've tried to explain as much as I can. If you guys need help, just make sure you guys put it in the comments. I'll try to help you as much as I possibly can. Um, I, I do sit at home quite a bit. I can try to help you guys even if you guys need some help. Uh, make sure you guys like, follow, subscribe if you guys like content like this from RPG Maker MV. This is my first video for this, even though I've been doing this stuff for a little while. Kind of been, kind of been behind scenes almost and... Um, kind of been just learning from Yanfly and all those other guys that have been doing great sh great stuff and just trying to implement my own things at the same time. Uh, trying to use uh, not as many plugins because this game is using a ton of plugins right now. And yes, it does work for my phone on my, my mobile, but it can be laggy at, at times in some places because of the plugins and things like that. So like I said, if you guys like this video, like, follow, subscribe. 
We'll see you on the next one, guys.